So I look, look a little bit different today. I look like I'm incognito or something. Um, my hair is a mess, so I'm not going to take my hat off. But I wanted to uh, shoot this quick video because um, we're, as you can see, we're at the airport. Um, today, I wanted to talk about how people can find you, which is a follow-on from yesterday. I think I'm on day 94, maybe 95 now, 365 days. Um, the challenge actually, the real challenge of this is going to be finding enough Wi-Fi to upload these to YouTube, to LinkedIn, to Facebook. So uh, let's see how that goes. Um, if it takes hours and you get them 12 hours later, um, that might you might notice something different. But instead of looking at what could happen, I look at what could happen as a way of, um, well, and what can I do about it, if that makes sense. And then I look at, and how can I, not how or why I might not. So yes, today I am talking about where, or how people can connect with you. Because I think this is really important. We get so busy, and forgive the shaky camera by the way, we get so busy thinking about our content, serving up, showing others, being consistent, being visible, um, getting our message right, that sometimes we forget to tell people how they can work with us. So I'd love you to think today, especially if you are like a freelancer, uh, self-employed, how can people work with you? But you employed professionals, you don't escape because quite often um, you have a sales team, you have a process, you have a system, but sometimes when the moment hits, and I know this from my own days as a, a national training manager, literally having to look after England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, that sometimes in the process of a day, your client might discover or uncover something that means that they need you. How do they best get hold of you? Do you have an assistant? Do they email you? Do they text you? Do they contact you by WhatsApp? Now, none of these are right or wrong, good or bad. They're just different. So have a think about the smoothest process for them and for you. So in my case, I do put a lot of content out there on social media, but ultimately, when I'm speaking to people and tomorrow's video is gonna be about like who, um, who's ideal, not just for me, that how people find me ideal for them. It's important for me to understand what somebody needs. So I have a lot of people that are recommended to me and I've had in the past where someone said, oh, so-and-so said I need to work with you. And I said, oh, that's really, like, really great and everything else, but why do you want to do the work with me? What is it that you want to achieve? It's important to me to make sure that we um, start off with from a place of almost like motivation that we cover exactly what you need and sometimes people speak to me and I think I could work with you but actually there might be a better path for you sometimes it could be read this book or do this thing first or try this out other times it could be a pointer to another um, you know coach mentor association which is why I shouted out um, a number of associations in my video yesterday professional associations um, and sometimes it's a case of let's uncover what we need and you know sometimes people come to me they know they need something they're not sure what the purpose of the conversation that I have with them which is why I like the conversation isn't to sell it to them is to discover what they need how they need it when they need it why they need it and how it will benefit them not me them I do a perfectly good job of raising my own visibility online offline internationally nationally and everywhere else um, but I want you to be able to get the kind of visibility that you want for you so as I say give the shaky camera that's it for today I can't remember if it's day 93 or, or 95 uh, sorry 94 or 95 um, but that's what I'm inviting you to do today how can people best connect with you and if you've always done something because somebody else did it and you like the way they do it, kind of rip that piece of paper up. Have a look at how people come to you. Here's something I did in 2020. I had a bit more time on my hands when 90% of my um, clients overnight, you know, couldn't go ahead or I, I lost some corporate and otherwise. I had a look over the last year. How did people actually find me? Um, and thankfully I always ask them this so I looked through my accounting software then I looked at well what was the last two years the last three years what about people that spent a certain amount with me 
like how and where did we first meet, where did they find me, how did I find them, that kind of thing. And I saw a pattern emerging and from that it really confirmed my love of speaking to people, connecting with people to find out you know, what's going on for them and who's who. So try that yourself, see what happens and uh, let me know how you get on. I'm nosy by nature, if you don't want to let me know publicly, just wherever you're watching this, if it's LinkedIn, I'm Jenny Kovacs on LinkedIn. If it's YouTube, I'm at Jenny Kovacs on YouTube. Do subscribe. And if it's Facebook, I'm the Queen of Being Seen, Jenny Kovacs, Queen of Being Seen. Or you can find me by typing in at Visibility Vibe without the S, and you'll find me there. That's it from a very busy airport in the UK. Um, I am going to be having some downtime, but I'll still be posting prepared written stuff out and I'll be sharing any lessons along the way with you. Bye for now.